Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Petrie and I'm here with another makeup video. So today I did a smoky eye look. I used the Biba palette by Natasha Denona. I actually only used one eye color to achieve this look. I wanted to do a really easy smoky eye and show you guys how to really blend it out without it being too blown up. Um, I paired it with a really dramatic pair of lashes from Main Eyelashes. You guys know this company. Um, if you're new to my channel, that's an eyelash brand that I use. It's my friend's company. Um, and then today, I'm rocking a t-shirt uh, from my boyfriend's uh, merch line. He has like a limited edition merch line. So I thought to pair this eye look with this shirt to kind of complement the look. And then I just paired it with a short wig. This look is pretty much matte all over. Um, I used contour. I didn't use any highlight. I have a matte lipstick on matte eyeshadow and then I have my contour and um, that's about it. I used a little blush. Before we get into this video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channels with your notifications on so you don't miss any videos that I post. Getting right into the video, I'm going to start with my brows, of course. I'm just filling in my brows with my chocolate brown brow pencil from Sephora. I'm going to conceal underneath my eye with Max Foundation Stick in NC44. And then I'm going to clean up above my eye with my NARS Foundation in the shade Morea. Using another brush, I'm just going to blend out that foundation and um, concealer that I put on my eyes. And then I'm going to set that with my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana. Going into that palette, the Biba palette by Natasha Denona, I'm taking that black shade. It's the only black shade in the palette. And it's, I believe when I looked it up, it's a cream um, shadow. So when you um, apply it, it doesn't really move too much until you start blending it out. So I really like that it, it didn't get all over my face. Like I didn't really have to clean up much after I applied it. But what you see me doing here is really packing it on. So I want to make sure it's very dark. But I want to pack it all over the lid first before I begin to blend it out. Because I'm using black, I didn't want to start with it in the crease because it can get a little bit out of control when you do it that way. So since I'm starting with black and not a transition color, I'm starting with it all over the lid and then I will go in and blend out the edges. So now I've switched brushes. It's a smaller tapered brush and I'm just going in and blending out the edges very softly. So I'm looking at my eye shape, creating my eye shape, and then blending out those edges because I want everything to be diffused. Going back in with the very first brush I use, I'm just applying some more eyeshadow to darken the look. I'm just taking a makeup wipe to really define that um, sharpness on the corners of my eyes. Today I'm priming my skin with my Lancome Prep and Matte Primer and I'm just going to rub that all in. Now I'm setting all over my face with my Black Radiance Powder in the shade Banana. Now I'm taking my NARS foundation. I think I used four pumps. Um, I don't know. I'm not really digging the consistency of the foundation. I think I might want to add a little bit to uh, my moisturizer, maybe to thin it out a little bit. Ever since I started using my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, I like this foundation a lot less. It's a little thick for me, so I think I'm going to try um, diluting it a little bit with some product the next time I use it. And this is the NARS Longwear Foundation in the shade Morea. I'm 
I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel. I absolutely love it. It's not too thick. You can work with it. It doesn't dry down too fast. I'm using that same brush I used for my foundation and I'm just going to use that to blend out my concealer. Now I've switched to a smaller brush to just get into those uh, tinier areas. To contour, I'm using my foundation stick in NW50 from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm taking that same brush again and I'm going to blend everything out. I think the, if you use the same brush to do multiple things, I feel like everything is more seamless when you're doing your foundation. Everything blends in a lot better. So consider that when you are doing your makeup. I'm setting all over my face with my Makeup Forever powder in Y445. And now I'm going into my Black Radiance um, Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana. And I'm going to just pretty much put that everywhere I want to set. And now I'm using my Fenty Bronzer in Coco Naughty. And I'm just going to apply that as a contour or a bronzer. Now I'm using my Smolder Eye Pencil to line my waterline and then I'm going to smudge that out with that black shadow that I used on my lids. So I went in with a little Mandarin blush just to um, give me some color on my cheeks and I'm lining my lips with ColourPop's BFF4 and then I'm using Naturally Transform Lipstick. It's a matte lipstick from MAC and then I'm going to go back in and just uh, make sure everything is lined properly. Now I'm going to wipe all that excess powder away and what you need to do is press, press, press and then you can wipe. I'm going to use my Fenty What It Do spray and I'm setting all over my face and then I'm going to use my fan to dry it out. So here's the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Peace.